no worries. Okay, so it is now recording. Perfect. Um, so hi, Christian. Uh, thank you for for having this discussion with with us today. Um, we are launching today arts formation, and you as a as a coordinator, we we wanted to know a bit uh, what was the idea behind the project and how do you decided mm -hmm. to go for a project that research on art and technology. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, yeah, um, where shall I start? I mean, um, the project hopefully will be super cool. Um, I mean, you, you know that some of our first uh, reports are coming out now next week. And um, the overall idea is essentially um, to look at um, whether the arts can help us and find good answers, participative answers, in kind of like thinking differently about the digital transformation. So for instance, through using the arts, can we think differently about privacy? Can we think differently about the future of labor? Can we think differently um, about artificial intelligence, right? And the idea is yeah, essentially to look at, you know, can we think differently? Can we, for instance, um, as a manager, can we find ways of including our stakeholders differently? Can we maybe make better strategies, more, thoughtful strategies, can we use it in um, policy making, for instance. The idea is essentially just to look at yeah, how can the arts or might the arts be helpful in conceiving quite wicked, quite challenging problems. Um, and considering the, the times that we are living with, with the pandemic and, and not what right. is going on, why do you think right. that time-wise it's, it's a good time to, to research in these, in these topics, in, in art and technology and in the intersect, <laughs> intersection between Ooh, these two? Yeah, uh, I, th I think it's a good time and it's a horrible time at the same time, right? Because with the project, we um, actually want to um, facilitate people producing artworks. We have quite a lot of cool formats essentially planned, right? Our colleagues at Latra and Bach and, and, and you, of course, um, we, we have um, on the one hand kind of like artist residencies planned, assemblies so essentially self-governed artistic bodies where people come together, um, think about artistic ways, artistic techniques to essentially tackle these problems. So that's quite right at the moment, of course, a little bit of a challenge, right? Also when it comes to exhibitions and all that. But um, I heard your original question, right? I think it's also challenging, but I think also relevant, right? Because I mean, obviously we are um, for the last half a year, so we are all um, working very digitally, right? Or actually we're having our social life super digital. We are essentially um, like now, right? Kind of like people talking in front of a computer. Um, we are meeting kind of like people that are, um, near and dear to us oftentimes via a computer. We buy our goods nowadays mostly through the computer. So I think there um, is right now, I think a lot of reconsideration going on how we organize our, ourselves for the, for the at least um, near term future, which is very much um, um, digital. And um, yeah, it could, it could be very interesting to then think also with all these shifts going on and reconsidering what we do, how we do things like um, whether, yeah, whether there's any type of artistic answer to it, any type of artistic comment, so to say. Yeah. And, and for all of those artists maybe listening to us now, uh, right. can you maybe briefly mention what kind of activities or events or sure. I don't know, opportunities are you, are you considering for arts formation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. I mean, um, I'm, I'm only speaking for, for a lot of you guys, right? Um, in that we, on the one hand, have wonderful partners in museums in Liverpool. We have um, electronic arts festivals like Transmediale in Berlin, which will have um, a lot of activities, may it be exhibitions, may it be workshops, may it be panel discussions, which are, of course, open um, to artists, lots and lots of our artists. We have through our um, colleagues at Bach and Latra, we have also this wonderful format of artist residencies. Idea being here that we have um, stipends for artists to um, work with us for around a week um, together with other artists around kind of like 25 from all throughout Europe to um, stay together for a week in Athens or Berlin 
and to essentially work in a workshop like format to um, yeah, kind of like together maybe explore new ways of um, looking at things which relate to digitalization and transformation. Yeah. And can you also maybe briefly just go through the, the different disciplines that the project is, is right. touching because there is um, a policy making in a right. way or influencing policy making but also a mapping of activities, trainings. Right. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Um, so again, I'm speaking kind of like for a lot of disciplines in our projects, right? Because we are different universities. So we have um, management scholars and our colleagues in Copenhagen. We got engineers and architects uh, with our colleagues at Trinity College Dublin. We have uh, lots of um, really engaged uh, non-governmental organizations, public policy organizations. And what we essentially do, we do a combination of yeah, getting to learn this type of artistic sphere in Europe. So people who essentially engage themselves in any way or type of form um, uh, commenting on a kind of like transformation through the arts um, so we are doing right now a lot of um, fact finding what do we essentially know and we are right now engaging also to yeah, speak to artists themselves uh, what they do how they work how they engage their communities we are talking to um, companies and organizations policymakers how they work together with the artist, what works, what doesn't, how they essentially kind of find um, kind of like mutual ways to at least talk to each other or get inspired or mutually inspired, hopefully uh, inspired. I'm sorry about that. Um, we are um, also, of course, then looking at the policy landscape and um, look at kind of um, yeah, how this whole policy process could maybe reimagined or at least um, slightly um, be, be, be imagine in a way that essentially also involves more, I would say, more artistic ways and forms than this kind of like just the traditional way of doing things. Yeah. And in this sense, related to the activities, can you talk a bit about the selection process of the partners? Because there is a wide variety of, of partners right. coming from very different, very different countries, but I, right. I'm not sure how was the process of selecting them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a difficult question because that was kind of um, essentially who knows whom, who kind of like had positive experience with each other, right? So I think it started out with um, essentially Copenhagen, Copenhagen Business School, talking to um, us here in Oslo, Norway, and our colleagues at Latra, um, Latra, Greece. And then I think it's then essentially then from there it, um, I think then somebody knew Vach, the, the Vach Society and that oh, they do really really interesting stuff and we should really talk to them when it comes to um, yeah, kind of like arts, management, science, technology. Um, they knew then the colleagues at uh, Trinity College Dublin from previous work and said like oh, you really have to talk to those people and I think uh, Vach also recommend uh, Latra Aris essentially then recommended you, you at uh, European Alternatives because they really, really loved your work. Um, I think um, I knew Transmediale before, of course, also Vag uh, knew Transmediale before and said, okay, we need to work with them. Um, and I think people also really had positive experience with Kea, our public affairs partner before, um, yeah, with um, uh, Liverpool Factor, of course. So I think it um, essentially went from a small nucleus of people who um, essentially started just with a rough idea of that it might be really interesting to look at um, how, how arts and management and policy making can be combined, right? I mean, we have, I mean, not, not, not us, but kind of like uh, other colleagues have already done a lot of work, super, super interesting work on like how arts can inspire um, engineers and, and people in the, in, the, in the hard sciences. And essentially, I think the idea was just kind of like, can what works well for these disciplines, can that also help us inform in terms of policy making, management, and on and so forth. And I think it just went from there. I mean, I think, I mean, of course, some of you guys are super well connected, like Aris and, and Lucas and Bach. Um, so I think it essentially just went kind of like from, yeah, people who knew other people who really liked that particular type of work, which they done before, yeah, the, the festivals and all that. Yeah. Yeah, we we hopefully will will get the chance to discuss with with all of them and get more more information about the work we were going to be doing in the in the next months and mm -hmm. and years, and maybe to close uh, the discussion and and also to present in the next day all the work that we we are going to be doing, um, I want to make the last reference to to the pandemic and to this mm -hmm. new digital world in which uh, we are living. Um, 
we've discussed a bit about how the new technologies are being are becoming our main tool and platform and space for for work mm -hmm. and for for daily life and um, maybe you can already give an uh, an estimation or how do you feel this uh, pandemic is going to affect the the results of the of the research if, if maybe already you are noticing in which ways uh, this is going to to have an impact in the results of the project or maybe this is still early to 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 know I hope not. And I'm, I'm saying that for um, a, a very particular reason and that, of course, we want to do exhibitions and we want to do workshops. They might look different. They might look um, look more virtual, which will be, of course, very interesting then also to explore. I think a lot of our um, kind of like communication when it comes to coursework or workshops or tools that will, of course, be now reconsidered to um, be available digital which i think is actually pretty good because it um, then makes it more um, shareable more widely accessible um yeah kind of like how it is how, how it impacts the the researchers so um yeah i wonder why right on the one hand we actually had discussions among ourselves like that we actually wanted to know how an artist actually works or how people who do make art actually works and i still think we still want to observe that on the other hand i think it might be super interesting now to also look at how artists now work in these types of conditions, right? Because in our project, we're talking a lot about artists organizing communities and artists working with the audience, participative art, socially engaged art and all that. And um, yeah, I, th I think, um, of course, with all the drawback that this horrible, horrible situation now with the pandemic, um, all that baggage that comes with it, right? All these um, unfortunate things, it's at least um, um, an interesting, time to 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 then essentially um learn from artists how they essentially to a degree also reinvent their art or their way of engagement in real time which is of course for us now as researchers super interesting to see yeah great we are very much looking forward to to see what is coming up of the of the projects we we have a website that we're launching today and also three social media channels where we're going to be disseminating and communicating the the productions of the of the project so thank you very much for this very first interview kicking off yeah, our project and and we'll be in touch soon perfect thanks so much thanks a lot <laughs>